back. Um, obviously not a perfect defensive performance yesterday, but like, is that sort of proof of concept of, of the level of play you can, you can attain? Defensively? Uh, I think it was one of those games. We, we made some mistakes. Uh, maybe it's because it was the first game of the season. Like, uh, I'd say for the most part, un uncharacteristic mistakes. Uh, uh, yeah, but I think we showed a lot of potential as well. Um, and we, we know how good we can be defensively, so I'm, I'm not too worried about that. I mean, you look at this group and what happened after that game, this could be a top 10 type defense or anything that really wins because of the season. I mean, I think we already knew that, and I think we can go even higher than a top 10 type defense. Like, I think we can be really elite. We can be one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. Why? Why? Uh, because we're bought into it. We have the individual uh, skill, uh, physicality, whatever you want to call it for it. Um, I think we got really smart defenders. Uh, yeah, just um, there's really not much we're missing on defense. Uh, we can guard a lot of different systems, a lot of, we can guard switching, we can stay with our own, so, yeah. Uh. And, and because of all those things too, as familiarity grows, typically gets better as long as the buy-in is there. So. Uh, yeah, correct. Um, I think defense also one of those things like, uh, we got a core group here that's been playing together for a long time, and then it's it's easier to just slide into that system, uh, if, especially like I said earlier, like we got, um, Smart defenders coming in. Uh, I think Dennis, for example, you can, uh, or even Jalen, like guys like that, uh, they'll slot in right, right away into that system. How are you seeing Scotty's defense change in this training camp? Uh, change. I don't know. Uh, I think he's always been a good defender. Uh, sometimes, like he, he's the type of guy. He's a little bit of a walkout. Sometimes uh, he can. Uh, he can jump out and and just make a play out of nowhere. Uh, you know what I mean? Um, he's he's very aggressive on defense. He got good hand, good length. Obviously, like very very physical as well. So, um, like I said, I think we got a good mix of different type of defenders on this team that can really help us. There was one play with Scotty yesterday, yesterday where you were sort of going off vertical, like it was verticality. It looked like you're making a clean play, and then Scotty comes out of nowhere and, like you said, makes a play. Is that sort of what your thing is? Third quarter, maybe. Is that sort of what you're thinking of? Uh, I don't remember that play specifically. I mean, there's, there's multiple different things. Like Scotty, like sometimes he'll he'll see a situation where he feels like he uh, he can come double a guy that's that's ball dominant. That's not really going to find the right pass. Uh, um, and I think the the rest of the team is is quick enough to to pick up and stuff like that. So when he does go and double, like even if it might not be part of the system in that moment, or like. Uh, it's not a, a play call or anything like that. Like everybody else is on the string and then can react to it. What's it like being a more traditional center and being defended by a guy like Scotty? I guess you played him once, but also in practice or just other guys who are like Scotty. Scotty guarding me? Well, uh, what's it like being defended by a kind of a, a player like that? Uh, I mean, it's 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 annoying. Um, because you, you can't really script for it. You don't really know what to expect. Uh, he, and even if he sometimes, like by, by running a little bit wild, gets himself out of position, um, he's got what it takes to, to get himself back into play. So really, if you get him to make a mistake, which could happen because he is doing such uh, so many different things out there, like he has the skill to, to get himself back into uh, play and, and finish it off, uh, even though it might not be the perfect defensive possession. Jakob, how do you navigate spacing when, you know, Scotty and Pascal, they had a few great plays in the first quarter just playing off of each other. How do you navigate that in terms of what you see? Um, I mean, it, it depends on the specific situation. Uh, it's just tough to give, like, a straight-up answer to that. Um, I think we're, obviously, we're, like, we're a paint-heavy team, but we can also uh, take advantage of that um, if we manage to fight each other even in tight spaces. Um, and then other than that, I think both Pascal and Scotty are out there um, stretching the floor for us really well. Scotty's been shooting it really well. Obviously, Pascal has been shooting it well for a while. Um, and then I'm just going to try and navigate out the dunker, like step in late, step in two pocket passes, stuff like that. Did you guys watch film this morning? We did, yeah. Um, what was the biggest takeaway from last night? Um, 
I mean, kind of what we've been saying all along. Like, it definitely wasn't the perfect game for us. Like, there's a lot of room for improvement. Um, there was times where we missed some reads on offense, where we uh, maybe try to be overly aggressive. Um, and even on defense, we made some mistakes, like we said earlier, that aren't normal mistakes for us. I'd say um, just I, I, I want to. I want to just say it was, like I said, first game jitters. I don't know. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, Dennis said you guys were playing a little sped up. Yeah, um, I, I could see that. Like we really, we didn't really get into our system. They're also like a little bit of an unorthodox team. Like we haven't really played a team like that in preseason yet. So maybe that was like just like a new experience for us. Uh, yeah. What do you think of this team's defense last night? Oh, we played a good defensive game. It wasn't. We don't. We don't feel like it was our best. Um, but you know. We have 94 points. I think they had like 20 points in the fourth quarter or less. I don't know. Uh, but we, we play pretty solid defense. Uh, we know we can do better as a team. Uh, and that's what we're just going to keep growing off of. We saw you defending some pretty big guys last night. What's that like physically for you? How exhausting is that to go up against some of the you know, seven footers in the league? Oh, it's not exhausting at all. You know, I've been doing that since I got to the league. Uh, first, second year, I was playing five most of it. Uh, so I'm used to it, uh, been playing it, it's really nothing to me. Uh, just about going out there, being physical, being a, trying to just push those guys out, make it tough for them. Just the main thing with my size and my length, uh, my physicality, I, I can be able to go out there and do it anytime. Yeah, uh, we were just talking to him and he sort of called you the wild part of the defense. And I think what he meant by that is like, you're somebody who could come out of nowhere and sort of make a play. Five blocks last night. How much pride do you take in like being a defensive player? Uh, I feel like that's where my game starts on the defensive end, just being out, being able to go out there, guard anybody, uh, taking pride in it. Uh, that's just my mentality going into every game, just try to start off on defense, and you know that leads to great offense with transition. Uh, and that just leads me to staying locked in throughout the game. Did you uh, hear Darko's comments the other day about you uh, as a defensive player down the road? Yeah, we talked, we talked about it. Uh, we talked about it multiple times, just him saying that ability of me to be able to win defensive player of the year with me being versatile, guarding one through five. Uh, I've been saying I was a great defender. You know, I just feel like I don't really get that recognition as I should. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like I'm a great defender. I can guard anybody on the court. Uh, you see me, I can guard the one through five. I pick up full court sometimes. I do it all on the def defensive end. So, you know, I, that's why I really take my pride in. Why do you think that was kind of undercovered at Florida State or even coming into draft? No, I don't think it was uh, undercover when I was at Florida State. Uh, you know, just about us winning games. You know, I feel like once we, we win games last year, you know, everybody just get that recognition on defense. Uh, so it's just about winning games. Uh, it's going to come. Not really worried about it. I know my abilities on the defensive end, on what I can do. Uh, you know, I guard them all. I can. That's what I really do. That's my. That's my. That's me. Uh, I, I do the defense, and you know, that's what I really focus on. What was the area of focus uh, in terms of improvement on defense? You said that it was that's the perfect game, but which is a key area? What you mean? Say it again. What, what's a key area of focus in terms of improving the defense? Uh. uh I always feel like I've been a great defensive player. I feel like, you know, I just had those opportunities to go block shots, and I went out there and got when to go get them. Uh, that's really what it was, you know, just being able to guard, you know, having those instincts on defense to get some steals, and then just going to find those block shots. You know, it's just, just one game. You know, just got to keep filling each game out. Scotty, I was talking to OG about his defense, how much film he watches, how much film, and how much time are you putting in off the court to improve your defense? I watch a lot of basketball, so you know, I just, whenever you just see that out there on the floor, you just got to make those reads. It's just a natural instinct to go out there and make those reads. And if someone's driving, if you want to help or not, if you're guarding the ball and you see something that you want to do, uh, it's just about how your defensive instincts are. You've talked about guarding one through five. I, I mean, you can look at OG and say you can do that. You can look at Precious and say you can do that. Mm -hmm. um, how comforting is it to know, like, you're set up to play so many different ways as a team. I think that's the best thing about our team. You see Dennis out there playing, guarding the point guards, full court setting and tone early out there on offense. And we just got a bunch of other guys that can just be able to guard one through five. They're strong, physical, got that length. Uh, I think that just shows where our team can have on that defensive end. We should be 
top five in defense with all these guys with these long ass arms. Uh, got length, tall, strong. Uh, we should be able to just go out there and get stops any night and just impose our will on the defensive end. Where do you think the team offense is at right now in terms of where it needs to be? Uh, we're still just growing. I feel like that's where we're going at mostly. Uh, we can find our identity on defense, but I feel like our offense, we just still trying to find that, uh, fix some things, tweak some things. You know, we just got to be better. Uh, keep taking those open shots, and we're, we're going to be confident in taking those shots. What do you feel like the learning curve is pretty bad as far as the system is going to be Say it again. What do you feel like the learning curve would be like for you guys as you try to continue to implement this new system? Um, it's just about us, man. That's all we're really focusing on. It's about us each and every single day. We're just going to keep working together, keep trying to stay together, keep building. Uh, that's just the main thing with us, just. We're just going to keep staying together, stay connected, and we're going to find it out. What did you think of the film? Uh, there was a really good uh, teaching session for us uh, this morning. Uh, obviously, just uh, playing a first uh, regular season game, uh, we had the jitters and, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, we just wanted to, to win that game and get it out of our way. Uh, we found a way, uh, and there was a lot, a lot of... Uh, things for us to, to improve on and learn from. How much of like some of the offensive struggles you have with just Rudy Gobert and them being a pretty tough defensive team? Oh, uh, I, I was uh, talking to coaches like this, that probably is the biggest lineup in, in the league with Gobert and Towns there and uh, they really did a good job of uh, protecting the paint and blocking shots. Um, but still, uh, I thought that, that we had more opportunities to, to find open teammates and to, to generate like a little, a couple more uh, better shots in the game. Is there anything you could take away from having seen Chicago in the preseason to tomorrow? Uh, for sure, uh, there there are things like you know they're not gonna change their pick and roll coverages, they're not gonna change their personnel. There are some stuff, but it's gonna be a completely different game. It's a regular season game. Uh, they started uh, with a, with a loss, and definitely they want to bounce back, and uh, we want to 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 get another win. So uh, it's gonna be a very very competitive game, I think. What kind of personnel problems are they preventing uh, that? They're wing oriented, but what do they, what do, they do that's hard to guard? I mean, uh, just look at the type of player the, the Rosen is, and uh, Nikola Vucevic, uh, who is a stretch five, uh, but also uh, Zach Lavin. You know, those guys, they wake up in the morning and they already have 20 points on their account. You know, so we got to respect that. Uh, you know, we need to, to have a good shoot around tomorrow, get our game plan ready, and uh, get our guys motivated to play the game. When you have a guy like DeMar, who is so efficient from the mid-range, how much does he test your defensive principles? Because in some way, those are the shots that you're willing to live with, right. but maybe not with him. No, he definitely is the player who lives in the mid-range. Yeah. Uh, you just gotta make it really hard on him. You know, if he's getting those uh, easy and without physicality, then you know he's gonna be very, very efficient. But uh, that's why uh, we have personnel that can do a really good job on him and wear him down over the course of the game. Uh, so uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be Bell. Where do you feel like the team could improve on both sides of the court? Um, a lot of things, you know, it's just first regular season game, uh, just uh, feeling the flow, uh, guys, uh, you know, understanding where their shots are going to come from, how how to, um, you know, play an offensive end. Uh, everybody's like, when regular season kicks in, everybody's like reverting to, I, I got to do what I feel comfortable of doing, you know, and uh, for us, we're trying to... Uh, not break those habits, but they're trying to play a different style of, of uh, basketball uh, with different spacing, with different, uh, different uh, you know, uh, principles. So it's going to take some time for all of our guys to start feeling comfortable in that and for me also to figure out how to best use our personnel. Coach, for game one, did this team meet or succeed your expectations? Um, I think we just met expectations. I thought that defensively we did a really good job. I thought that in the transition we did a really good job. And I thought that we, we could do a better job in, in a half court. 
Anything in particular in the half court, rotations? Uh, it's uh, in the half court uh, offensively. I, I just thought that we, and there were moments that we did not have force, that we were slowed down. Uh, and then when we were attacking the paint, there, there were opportunities for us to find open teammates that we did not do it on a high percentage. When you look at how you guys played defensively last night and, and what you've seen so far, do you see a, what do you see as the ceiling for this team based on personnel and, and, and schemes? As it's right. I think we can be really, really good defensively. It's uh, tenacity that our guys are bringing, uh, versatility, uh, you know, multiple players being, you know, really, really good defensive players. It just helps us. And, uh, you know, having Scotty who, who can guard uh, one through five, everybody, that he can be in a coverage, that he can be switching, that he can guard one on one, you know, ending up game with, with, with five blocks. It's, it's a luxury to have on a team. And, I mean, you closed last night with the Precious, Scotty, and uh, OG, all of them. One's been all defense, and, you know, two of them think they should be all defense. So, uh, Pretty good luxury to have. No doubt, no doubt. I think this year NBA should uh, save themselves a war and just uh, give our starters uh, five five rewards for the best defensive players of the year. Uh, with Scotty, like five blocks, making plays all over the place, but then like there are some errors. Like I think he got like the biggest hand down on that Edwards three in the third. Like as a coach, what's your sort of approach to showing? The great plays versus showing the mistakes in the film. Both. I mean, uh, players, uh, they want to be coached. They want to see film does not lie. Yeah. You know, and we, we showed those clips today uh, of, uh, you know, not closing out with urgency and without sticking and giving room. But we also showed really, really good plays that are affect winning. So uh, we just got to have a higher percentage of those winning plays. Going back to the offense you were talking about, the adjustments, I saw you talking to Pascal for a while after practice. How do you feel like individually? I know it's really early on. It's just one game. Uh, he's really trying to do uh, what we ask him to do. Uh, it's getting a feel for, you know, for the spacing, where the shots are coming from. Uh, you know how we can help him to to put him in the best situations to create for our team. It's just like one of those things that you know it's it's a, it's a work in the progress. But I think he's really trying to do the best he can. Coach, you said that your rotation is typically with ten, but it could be nine, it could be eleven on some nights. Um, how much is it on a consistent basis performance or versus uh, matchup based? Uh, it's, um, it's both of those things. Plus for me, it's also thinking the big picture. You know, it's, it's not necessarily just game by game, but also big picture how we're developing our roster, uh, how we're developing uh, young guys, how we're giving opportunity for all, all, all the players that are on, on our team. So all of those things, they, they, they come in account. We haven't seen you guys approach it back to back yet. Uh, is it the same sort of rotation or do you have to do things differently um, to be prepared for the two games? Uh, Chicago is tomorrow and we'll see what, what happens uh, until we play Philly. So uh, I did not think about Philly much at this point.